Holy flabtastic shit. That business owner, I got nothing against small businesses at all. I've seen that motherfucker at Dundas Square. The last dozen times I've been out every Saturday, because that's when they're out every Saturday. Filming and time lapsing. Yes, time lapsing. I don't film no more because it's stupid until it actually warns it. And head counting. The batshit, delusional, extremist minority fringe groups. Yeah. It's pathetic when they actually defy orders. And here's what happens when they do that. A harsh fucking reality check. People report them. That's what happens. It is a fierce, harsh reality check. And they don't seem to get it. Well, in their heads, the batshit theories that stem from nightmares and watching far too much Hollywood. No, seriously. And they're, well, let's just say 0.5% of them actually do, uh, are not delusional, but, because I talked to a few, but I'm just talking about the most of them. Nightmares, fantasies, Hollywood is not fucking real, but to them it is. That's where most of their batshit theories come from. That and, you know, mental health issues. But some, they're too good to seek help. And look what happens when they define the orders. Look what happens when reality makes a harsh pound at them. You bet. You bet. Probably knocked out a napkin, but whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when reality strikes, they bitch and moan. They call out treason, criminals. You know, you know what they call out. Our freedoms are being taken away from us. No, uh, no, your rights and freedoms are not being taken away from you. You're being fined. Of course, yes, you're being fined for not following protocol. We're in a freaking pandemic. The whole freaking world is. Some have taken it better ways. Some have taken it worse. Some have done great. Some have done horrible. I'm not going to mention any countries because to each their own. And however they manage it is however they manage it. None of my responsibility. But sheer stupidity, well, you can't solve that. Reality is going to strike pretty hard. And it's going to deal with them like a huge blow. You know, the kind of blow like a basketball smacking straight in your face. You're not paying attention. The ball flies in your direction and... You know the rest. You got a broken nose or a black eye from it. Or worse, I don't know. Uh, you get knocked out. You got a broken neck depending on how hard and the velocity is traveling. You know. Uh, yeah. That's stupid. What they did was fucking stupid. And... Congrats to the one that reported them. They did a good deed. We don't want no more freaking cases. Hey, I'm not signing with Doug. But he makes damn sense. And he doesn't want this pandemic to spiral the fuck out of control. Nor do I. So, maybe uh, these ones that, the fringers, the ones that are going to down the square every time, if they even follow the protocols and that, and don't accuse the mayor, the premier... The medical doctors, health professionals, any organization that's trying to make a vaccine. Right now there's at least four. As wanted criminals, child molesters, pedophiles and all that. I mean, seriously? What the fuck? Or murderers? What the fuck again? Well, obviously they won't, but... If they can only back up their claims, then... Yeah. There's no hard evidence to back up any of those anyway. So, anyways, before I go off the rails on this, thank you for watching, and reality sucks! Just remember that. Reality sucks! It will hit you in the fucking head like a falling file cabinet.